Hey everyone, Scott here from Country Roads Fly Company, coming at you from wild, wonderful West Virginia. And I'm glad you're joining us today for another edition of Wrap by Wrap. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at divided fiber wings. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by attaching my thread to the hook shank and building up a bit of a thread base here. Note that I'm using a twisted thread technique for the base, not attempting to flatten the thread at all. You can see the video that we've got on thread management for more details on that. I want to position my thread uh, two to three eye widths behind the, the eye of the hook at this point. That'll be our mounting point for the wings. As far as wing material goes, there's several options you have for divided fiber wings. Um, deer hair is often used, uh, especially in wolf type patterns. Uh, various synthetic materials you can use. For this example, I'm gonna use a mallard flank feather. So I've got a prepared mallard flank feather here. And what I've done, I've isolated the barbs that are all about the same length. And then I've simply stripped away all the other feathers from the, from the stem. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give this feather a nice twist to try to get all the length out of all the feathers before I size it against the hook shank. And I'm going to pinch the feather clump in the fingers of my left hand and Hold them up to the hook shank to size the, the clump. I want them to be about the length of the hook shank in this case. So I'm going to make these a little bit longer just by taking my right hand and pulling them out just a bit, like so. Then I'm going to hold my feather clump on top of the hook shank at my mounting point that I identified where the thread is. And using a pinch wrap, I'm going to take one nice tight wrap around the feather clump and ensuring that the feather is staying on top of the hook shank make subsequent adjacent wraps moving rearward four to five wraps moving rearward nice tight wraps i'll lift up the butt ends make an angle cut to try to achieve a nice taper. Cover those butts with thread wraps. And then I'm going to return the thread to the front of the clump. So now that we've got our clump of fibers mounted securely to the top of the hook shank, the next step is to force them into a vertical position. What I'm going to do, I'm going to build up a thread ramp in front of the bundle by taking some wraps tightly against the front of the bundle and work my way towards the, the hook eye and then back up against the fiber bundle, checking them occasionally by releasing the, the fiber bundle to see how close they are to staying vertical. I'm just gonna go back, take another pass towards the hook eye and then back against the clump. As you can see, they're staying pretty vertical uh, at this point. Okay, so once we have the wing fibers vertical. Next step is to divide them evenly. I'm gonna rotate my vise just a bit here. And then I'm gonna start to separate the clump of wing fiber material into two equal sections. Use a dubbing needle for this if you prefer. I just like to use my fingers. So I think I've got a pretty good idea of how they need to be divided. So the thread is currently in front of the clump. So I'm going to take it underneath and then back up between the wings. And then I'm going to go 
underneath in the front to the back, making cross wraps. And then one more time, front, I'm sorry, back to front. And then front to back. And I'm going to make a wrap around the shank behind the wings. Keep everything in place. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to make a series of wraps around, horizontal wraps around the base of the far wing. I'm holding the wing with my left hand while making three or four wraps around the base. And then just release the wing to let the, pat, the thread pass through. And once I've made three or four wraps up the wing, I'm gonna start back down. Once I've reached the bottom, I'm gonna come between the wings and then I'm going to make a wrap on the near side of the hook, up underneath, and around the back side of the hook shank. So this wrap will be in the opposite direction that you're normally wrapping. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the front wing, or the near wing. Start making wraps from front to back around the base of the wing. I'm going to make four wraps up the wing. And then I'm going to go back down. And then on my last pass between the wings, I'm going to make a wrap from the far side underneath and back up to the front side. Make a full wrap around the hook shank. So that returns your thread to your normal tying direction. So examine your wings. These look pretty good. If you need to make any adjustments in their vertical orientation, you can make another layer of ramp in front of the wings if need be. These are looking pretty good. So that's about it for this edition of Wrap by Wrap. I hope you found this video on divided fiber wings helpful, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.